This guy's name is Neo, and he has a very big pink tongue. And just for fun, why don't we paint in the big pink tongue first? And of course, remember, with any area, you don't want to just have a flat color. There's always gradations. So I'm going to get this good and wet, so I'm going to use a really good, moist brush with this first wash so that it'll stay wet for a while so I can drop in some other gradations of this pink. I got my pink tongue in. Now I'm going to go back in with some cooler red which means I've added some blue to it because there's a shadow here where his the roof of his mouth casts a shadow on his tongue okay and so I just put that in and then there's you know little just where the light catches it differently there's other little gradations here and there and I'll put those in just um, I don't think I want it that blue though right, right there so I squeezed out my brush and now I'm soaking that color back up see how that just goes right back into my brush so if you make a little bit of a misjudgment and it's at this stage of wetness no fear just go back with a drier brush and use it like a sponge and soak up whatever you don't like and then I'm gonna add some pinker stuff there and then I'll go back in with a little bit of tiny tiny bit of blue The tip of his tongue is a darker color too. So that'll just lay the foundation for the first wash for the tongue.